Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another day. So today, if you didn't see our other video, or our previous video, we finished up wheat last night. These two trucks are loaded, so Dad's taking the other one. I'm gonna jump in this one. And then we have an auger cart full and a combine full. So we gotta get those empties, emptied once we have room on the trucks. And then we gotta turn around, clean everything up, get it back to the shop. Well, no flat tires for me. I don't think any for dad, so we're starting off on the right foot. I don't care how many semis you have. You've always got a tire that's gotta be replaced. Yeah. Always putting money in tires. So, tires are still good, still holding air, all that, but if you can see that tread, this front axle, and the two on the other side. It's time to change them. Man, Dustin, I forgot how spoiled you were in this truck. This thing rides like a Cadillac compared to all the others. Another drive through elevator. Not very often you don't get a line of trucks. All right, so unfortunately I can't just load the load the semi from the auger cart right now because long story short, one of the elevators we're hauling to said, hey, we've decided we don't want wheat at this location. No big deal, we only had one load left. So we'll either pay you extra to haul it a little further or we'll actually send one of our trucks out to come pick it up and haul it for you. So that's what we decided to do. I've got over a truckload on the auger cart so I knew we would get him full. But now I'm just waiting on him so that I can load him and then whatever excess at that point I'll put on I'll put on my truck and get it hauled in. Alright, truck driver showed up right on time. Actually he was early. That's good. You love it see love to see the guys that show up early. But got him loaded so we know that contract's filled. So at this point I just gotta empty what leftovers we have in the front of this truck. It's only gonna be about half a load maybe. But it's gotta go in. Oh, 
All right, looks like Dad had about 7,600 pounds on here, so won't won't even be a half a load. But you never complain about having the extra. Don't typically load tarp side on the auger cart, but I wasn't gonna spin it around for one load. Let it run for a few extra seconds this time. Get as much of that money as we can out of there. And everything is on the trucks. Time for me to get this last load, half a load, to the elevator. Well, we're back to the wheat field. Um, got the bean head taken off the combine. Combine cleaned out a little bit. And uh, getting ready to finish cleaning out the auger wagon. Finally figured out which hydraulics the auger. Oh, and I've got to, i got to throw that switch so it'll go down into transport. the auger fold all the way down. That way it's not in any tree or oncoming traffic. So we'll leave this here and I'm gonna head south in the combine. Meet Jared back at the shop. Got the bean head off, it's ready to go. The combine's ready for a road trip. Augers folded in, drain tanks folded. So we'll see you in about an hour. And we're back. Looks like the machine has just has it crossed 400 yet or is it right there? Probably hasn't quite crossed it yet. Anyway, it's close enough. So we're gonna go ahead and do the first oil change on it. Still has break-in oil in it from being a new engine and everything. So we're gonna get that dropped out, get fresh oil back in it, and it'll be ready for harvest. Our fancy little homemade extension and then engineers actually did something right on this machine <laughs> shows you how often I change this thing they still did something right and honestly now that I'm up here I don't even remember where it's at Very warm. Oh, yeah, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but down here, I'm trying to keep myself from burning myself. Ready? Just a simple quarter turn valve, and she'll drain out. All right, just got back with the head. Dad is on his way back with the auger cart. 
and everything will be back at the farm. So, combine's still draining. Time to finish this truck once and for all. As you can tell, I was working on it a little bit, waiting for dad. This side is completely done. Uh, correction, the caliper has not been bled yet, but that's not a big deal. Time to get the axle shaft back in this side and the new caliper on. Alright, well other than bleeding the brakes and putting the tires back on, this thing is done. Crazy how fast and easy things go together when you have all the parts you need. Alright guys, well, our 15 minute brake job is finally done three days later. And all the equipment is back from the field. We're going to continue to let this combine drain overnight and then put fresh oil in it. So not much left there. If anybody's got any guesses, leave a comment below on what you think that wheat yielded and see who gets closest. Uh, but hey, that's enough for today. I'm actually taking a long weekend. I'm going camping with the family down in southern Illinois in 95 degree weather so maybe say a prayer for me but i hope you guys enjoyed this video find that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't and as always see you in the next one